Okay, so let's begin with partial fractions again. I do not know how many times I say begin. <laughs> okay, uh, there are there are three types of partial. I'll cut to the chase and just give you a random example. Let's say you're given something like this, 2x plus 3. Okay, uh, this might not be solvable, but I'm just trying to show you all three of them. Where 1 is x minus 1, x plus 2 squared, and the favorite is uh, x squared plus 1. Let's go with this one. Okay, this, this might not be solvable, but I'm just trying to show you all three of types. Okay, the first one here, x minus 1, you see here to the power 1, is what we call, sorry, equals to a linear. The second type is when you see squared here. So we do this, B, the letters increasing after A is B, X plus 2 plus C, X plus 2 squared. There are many, many ways, many, many words for this, but normally we just say it's a repeated. Okay, you see squared here, first you write down to the power 1. And then you go power 2. To the maximum power what we have there. It's, uh, this is for your syllabus, matriculation syllabus. It's just until power 2. But I've seen question in my days where we go to power 3. So we have 3 re repeated there. Okay, I'm just telling this in advance. Who knows if you go to university. And the final one is this one here. Plus x squared plus 1. Okay, what's the next letter? D. D. This is squared, right? So up here is linear. Dx plus e. We just want one degree down. This is squared. We go linear here, one degree down. This is what I call, uh, not a quadratic, I like to say these words, unfactorizable. Because many people did not see that it's unfactorizable. You can't factorize it, then it becomes something like this. What happens if, if I can factorize it, sir? I got myself linear. Okay, I'll show you an example. Let's say we don't get x squared plus 1, but we got ourselves instead it's x squared minus 4. What will it be? Okay, let's say there's, there's one more. Okay, uh, We have this and then we have one more, x squared minus 4. What will it be next? Plus what? X. After E? FX plus? X squared minus 4 is what type? It's quadratic, right? Yes. But is it unfactorizable? No. It can be factorized. What do I get for this one here? X plus 2. X minus 2. So it's supposed to be fx plus 2 plus g x minus 2. If you say just now, it's actually sir, fx plus g x squared minus 4, you can say 10 marks goodbye for your life. Alright, so be, be super careful on that part. It's a quadratic, but is it an unfactorizable quadratic? Be super careful. Okay, so that's the quickest introduction I can say about this topic. So let's try several of those several of those questions. <laughs> 